Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 155 of the Eavesdrop Podcast, award-winning Eavesdrop Podcast. It's been a long time since we won the award, but it's still award-winning. Uh, episode 155 is brought to you by Shopify, and I have Shotzi, the, the, the super movement breaker of games, dude. That's me, man, the have Flash. You, let me ask you a question, Flash. Have you changed the name of your subscribers yet? Yeah, no, I actually have. Have you? Have you, my, have you been in my stream? No. I only watch, I only watch, uh, I only watch you on TikTok, and I only watch your stuff uh, on uh, on your YouTube channels. But I, I, I don't, I don't watch anybody live. I don't watch nobody. Even yeah, if yeah. fucking Fuiz got on, I still wouldn't watch him. I don't watch Nate Shot. I don't watch Scumpy. I don't watch fucking Diesel. And if you or, are watching, you're there for like five minutes max. I'm only there to drop a drop, drop either. I'm either there to talk like, shit. Yeah. Drop a sub. Instigate. Instigate. Say ooh, <laughs> uh, but that's it. It's just li- live. That live stuff is not. It's not for me. I'm a, yeah, I'm a yeah. BOD guy. Uh, I I did almost do an edit for your shit uh, for your video where you were doing. If you guys don't know who Shati is, you guys are sleeping on the rock. So I'm gonna assume that you guys all know. So you guys will. Uh, I'm gonna assume that you know what video this is because that shit's got like 250 thousand views. It's yeah. where you 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 pretend to be like a, 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 a scrub, yeah, yeah, yeah and then yeah. you tell somebody, and the guy's like, "We ain't trying to hear that shit." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Dude, yeah, yeah I, I know exactly. I think it was the hot hotel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was hotel, right, dude? That shit was so funny. No, it was it hotel? I know exactly what we're talking about. Where like I like said something, and then like the guy was like, "I don't give a fuck." Like, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's like, "We don't give a shit, man. Just fucking play your yeah, game." Yeah, and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, the dude heard your voice and and, and recognized you, right? Is that yeah, what happened? Yeah. Anyway, I, I was watching that, and I felt as though th- that video reminded me of of like the old days, like Modern Warfare Two. Uh, like early Modern Warfare 2, late Call of Duty 4 uh, yeah. game where, where people were, you know, exploring and, and doing like these fun shits. And and, um, and when I saw your shit, I was like, I was like man, this shit. So I, I cut it up and I, I was going to upload it, uh, but I just got too lazy and shit. I just, but it was fucking dope. No, yeah. So I actually got that video idea off of YouTube. So like I basically went on YouTube and then you know how you get like recommendations. So I'm pretty sure I, I got a recommendation off like uh, I'm pretty sure it was either Bams or Fugitives. You know they're they're Call of Duty I've, YouTubers. I've, yeah, I've heard of both of them. Yeah, they do like a lot, a lot of like variety of like different like ideas and stuff like that. And one of them was like pretending to be a noob and then popping off. And I was yeah. like, wait, dude, that is like that would bang and ranked. Yeah. So then I tried it and ranked, and then actually you know probably like one of my best uh, my best YouTube videos like to this day, which I mean it's only been like for a month or whatever, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it's. It's insane. Like, Where do you get your ideas from? Literally YouTube. I'm just like I copy and paste people's thing, but like, is that like? I when don't, you say copy and paste, what do you mean? Like not, their not, titles? Not no 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 no. Their ideas. Titles. Their ideas. Yeah yeah. yeah. No, it's not wrong. So like yeah, because like Call of Duty. I mean, you know Call of Duty. Like you could only do so many things, especially like kind of how it is now, with like no one really wanting to watch like specific things. Mm-hmm. So like I get my ideas based like on specific. Things you know, that, that are popular. That, yeah, like there's the nothing, trend. There's nothing wrong with being being on trend or or being inspired by other people. Um, like if you did a top five kill camps of the week, they, you know, because the show has, has been dead for so long, then I, I wouldn't care. Yeah. But if you did it at the same time I was doing it, then I'd be like, yo, what the fuck? You know, I, I, I'd have something to say. Yeah, yeah no, But no, no, there's, no, there's, look, everybody has copied everything. And not only have they copied it here, but they've, they've, they've taken YouTube strategies from gaming and they've implemented them in other places, like actually traditional sports even. But uh, the majority yeah. of the stuff is all, you know, people people do stuff and then they get inspired and then they want to show that to other people. Um, well, there's nothing wrong with that, no. But, uh, you know, it, it would be cool t- for you to come up with your, like, your your own thing. Yeah, yeah, no, 100%. Like, and that's what I've actually done. Like, uh, I mean, to an extent, like I, I even was doing Shotzi Says, which is like, you know, Simon Says. I was doing that with subscribers. I was doing like, uh, even I was like, why I was like coaching my own subscribers. Like I've been doing like a lot of variety of stuff, and yeah. I don't know, I've been just kind of having like fun with it. So. Has has your obviously you know when when you joined when you joined Optic and you were with like minded you know creators and all that did that did that help your overall strategy as to oh, how yeah, you ran yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, no, hundred. I feel like when you have like people around, like especially like you, Seth, like anyone that's involved in Optic, like everyone's always trying to make you know the best shit, quote unquote, like. Everyone's always trying to, you know, find a way to level up their game, and that's literally what I've been doing. Um, yeah, I've been trying to do at least. Well, I, every time I see something that I don't like on your channel, I always fucking text you and tell you, like, "Yo, man, like, let's." So obviously, 
we were talking about how you learn you not only do you learn but you bounce ideas off of off of other people mm -hmm. uh but man since like in the last what like month month and a half your shit has been blown up so crazy it's that i'm like crazy. we need to we need to revisit this because i i have a tendency of wanting to do uh podcasts with people that uh like in in year spurts right like i did one for the beginning of of our podcast i did one with nature like in the beginning and then i did one with him like a year later and then i did one with courage and then i did one with courage a year later and then oh, like yeah, obviously then, like yeah. it's been almost a year since you and i have have uh, sat down to do this uh so i wanted to to make sure to just to like cover your your journey as you continue to you know go on on this on, on your path to become whatever you end up becoming mm -hmm. where do you see yourself or do you even um, or do you even worry about stuff like that Honestly, yeah, I don't really worry stuff like that. Honestly, the way I look at it is like I, I just want to enjoy what I'm doing, and as long as I'm enjoying it, and you know the numbers are obviously doing well, that's all that matters to me. So yeah, yeah. that's good. Um, I, I have so many questions because one, one is like, did you really not know that Maine was a dude? I swear to God, really, bro. I could put. Where did you go to school, man? <laughs> bro, I'm not even trolling, dude. Like, I I don't remember sitting in a class. Well, I right, I'm probably no no no. Listen, whenever they were doing that ge is it geography? geography, whatever, yeah, whatever they were sometimes, doing that shit. Listen. Sometimes I like to say geometry as a joke. Yeah. Instead of geography. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Go. yeah, so like whenever they're doing that shit, I, dude, listen, I didn't give a fuck about Because like, bro, the way I thought about it was like, listen, I'm not going to remember all this fucking shit. Like, why am, like, why am I going to need to know? Pilot. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not going to need to know any of that because your boy was playing Halo motherfucker too. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And then that's like, I literally never listened. And then from there, because like, usually the way it worked is like, you would do for a week, you'd learn a specific subject and then yeah. you switch over to the yeah, other yeah. thing. So I feel like they, like that within that week, like that just flew by and then I just never got taught it. Well, to me, you are the perfect example. And this is not, I'm not saying this, in a, I'm, I'm, I'm prefacing this by saying that it's not a bad thing, and I mean that, it's not like a, like a yo, no offense, and then I offend you. Um, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. You, you are like the perfect example as to why my my daughter is homeschooled and why me, I should have been homeschooled and why uh, oh, my wife no, should have been homeschooled. Oh, I, oh no, 100%. Because, no like, because like you, I found school to be not only fucking boring, I got so good at graffiti because that's all I did in class, I never fucking paid attention. Uh, I would study a little bit before tests and I would do really good in tests because I was able to memorize shit, but that didn't give me actual knowledge yeah, of, yeah, yeah. Of, of anything, not, nothing that I retained uh, that was useful for the for the rest of my, my life. But I do remember in junior high school, we did this thing, so I was in ESL. Do you know what that is, ESL? Mm -hmm. English as a second language. So no. when you when you first get here from the United States, whether you're from Europe or wherever, yeah. uh, they put you in a class, in, in, in separate classes than the, than the regular people that speak English. Mm -hmm. They put you in a class called ESL, English as a second language, and they teach you uh, English, and they also teach you like regular curriculum stuff like uh, like that. One of those things was to memorize not only the states, the 50 states, and and uh, in Puerto Rico, but also to know the the two letter abbreviation for for each one, huh. right? So yeah, yeah. let's uh, let's let's get going with a, with a little bit of a test. And I, I don't know if you guys have planned this for trivia because of uh, because of, of what happened, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you three things. The, All right, let me what's see. Texas? Is? TX. Okay. What is Nebraska? MB. Probably. If I I'm just guessing. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> it probably, it probably like. It probably is MB though, like, cause I that <laughs> wait, I'm probably dude, I'm I'm not, nah, I probably got it wrong, but like, yo, I'm like probably crazy with it. Like, you give me the th like, all right, keep going. Uh, so for for uh, what did I say, Nebraska? Yeah. For Nebraska is uh is any obviously. Hold on, let me make sure. It is right. So Nebraska is any, um, Colorado. Do. That's right. All right, all right, all right, bro. That shit literally just like like the letter. Main, bro. I feel like on some weird shit, it's like M N or M E. M E. Yeah. M N M N is for what? Minnesota. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so it's again, but these are like you. Oh, uh, wait. Where is Maine again? Where is Maine? Uh, on the East Coast. So East Coast, like, so they ain't making no noise, basically. They ain't making no they, noise. They, they, <laughs> they ain't making <laughs> no noise. <laughs> like Maine, they, they got the best lobster. Uh, really? uh, yeah, they have great cuisine. They have good culture. This is what I'm saying. Like either way, you are uh, able to make a living outside of that. So like this is oh, this yeah, is yeah, this yeah, is no, this is my, my point in in going around all this. And I've mentioned it a bunch of times, but I don't think that it could be said enough. So I never shall wait. I believe 
that if you are able as a kid, if, if a teacher or, or a tutor or, or some or, or your parent yeah. is able to identify what you are best at or, or, or what are your most valuable interests, then you would live a more healthier mental and physical life as you go into your years. As long as you are okay with the fact that you may not be a millionaire off of that one thing. You obviously got very lucky and you're in a space that allows you to, you know, where possibilities are endless and money yeah. will be endless. But, you know, if you are a carpenter, for example, if, if, if you as a young, are you bringing up the states right here? Well, yeah, but Shotzi needs to know where Maine is. There it is. Oh yeah, see that's why I don't know her then. And then, because <laughs> they're not making any noise, <laughs> yeah. is the uppermost? Uh, is that right? Is is the upper uh, most northern eastern state? Uh, and is it part of the thirteen colonies? It is not a part of the thirteen colonies. I'm a moron. Um, but anyway, it's uh, I, I, again, you know, it's just, it's, it's just knowledge that. Not, I don't know if you even you should even know. Maybe that's it's what a, I'm it's, saying. Like no one needs to know that. Well, maybe it's a United States, you know, citizen. You should have, uh, you know, knowledge. Of, but now, ask me if I know any of the Mexico ones. I, I you don't know? No, I mean I know I know a lot. I don't know. I don't know. How, how about this? I'll start by saying that I don't know how many states there are in Mexico. But in less than ten seconds, I can tell you how many states. Information is readily available. That's what I'm to saying. You. That's what I'm saying. Like, I have Google. Yo, listen, bro, I have Google, so why do I need to know all this stuff? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know exactly what you're saying. I'm going to tell you why I know exactly what you're saying. Our education system has not changed since, Matt, when was the last time it changed? Was it 19, 1840? I'm telling you right now, bro, listen, dude, like, I'm going to keep it 100, dude. So, like, yeah. my district. Your school just, district? Yeah, like... Bro, the, this the teachers that I didn't care. There was my, there might have been one strict teacher, my government teacher, dude. She was low key like too strict. Like you were taking your job way too serious. Well, what's her name? Don't call her. Don't call her. Yeah, I don't know her name. I'm not gonna lie. That, that I have such bad memory. But nah, she was taking her job way too serious, bro. Like I mean, nah, I respect it though, <laughs> low key. But nah, I feel like every teacher is just kind of like laid back. They don't really like. Obviously, they're trying to do like their job as much as possible, but they kind of just let you like just. I don't know, and just be free, I guess. 1839. That's what I'm saying. Think about this. What they teach you in school since 1839, even if it was 1939, because of technology and because of everything that has occurred, Google included, which you just mentioned, the fact that this hasn't changed is an issue for me, and it is, it's is—it's not your fault that you don't know where Maine is. or the, the, One, Maine's not making noise, as you said. I don't know. <laughs> but two, like, like the fact that you don't know is not your fault. Is the educational system's oh, fault. They they were created. Nah, dude, you, dude, I'm telling you right now, y'all think I'm dumb, bro? Y'all should have no. seen the, dude, y'all should, <laughs> is that fucked up? But, like, y'all should have seen the students that I was with, bro. They were, like, even dumber bro you don't they, think any of them follow you no because nah, you know they play nah, college nah, ain't no way but like i'm telling you right now like I, i'm actually like a pretty good reader like look last shotzi eavesdrop december 17 2021 so like whenever people would read out loud like i'm not really sure if they would just get like nervous and shit yeah. but like it'd be like uh they went to the like <laughs> yeah, i'm yeah. like bro what <laughs> <laughs> like you know what i'm saying yeah so uh, like there's there's a lot of them out there like you know what I'm saying. I, so. I go in spurts. I'll read something really easily, and then other times, if I have to say it out loud, then I'll I'll get caught up in myself, yeah, and I'll be like, yeah. oh shit, I'm, I'm sounding kind of kind of slow here. Um, but anyway, I, it's it's not your fault. And where I was going with it is is that if if teachers or tutors or people are able to identify what people are passionate about at, a, at an early age, you yeah. can create a better society because people will be more focused on being able to make a living off of the thing that they love doing instead of trying to chase a dream that only benefits the top Hell yeah. 1% of the top 1%. That you're spinning right now. Literally. Yeah, so, so, so for us, for my wife and I, who feel very strongly about the fact that the school system failed us, uh, that we we were not gonna allow that to be the same with uh, with our daughter, so that's why that's why she's homeschooled, and you know she she's she's passionate about art, she's passionate about uh, you know working with uh, with just she, th th think about a a kid, right? You never like people back in the day would be like, what do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, I want to be a fireman, I want to be a, a a cop. Those seem cool professions because that's the only thing that you do, and you heralded yeah, them yeah. as heroes, which they are um, in some cases. Obviously, Bro, there's bad apples that, like, everywhere. The, I actually remember the teacher was like, yo, what do you, like, so I, I forgot who entered the classroom, but like, they're like, yeah, we're going to go around asking everyone who they want or like, what do you want to be? And then like, I, I was like, I ain't going to say gaming because like, I was like, I, I didn't want to think, I didn't want everyone to think I was like, 
Uh, I was like a sophomore, freshman. I was like, nah, they're going to think I'm like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> from the word pussy alimus, please look it up. Not from P-U-S-S-Y, which is offensive. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pussy alimus. Yeah, so. Uh, it's cowardice. Yeah, so, and then I, I was like, fuck, fuck, what am I going to do? And then I was like, oh, I want to be a cop. <laughs> like, I'll some shit. And then, yeah, but I, I don't want to be a cop, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, were you trying to pe- make people laugh? No, 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 I was, I was saying that because, like, I didn't want to say gaming. If I said gaming, people were going to be like, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because gaming, at least. Well, how, lo- how long ago was that? Uh, Probably f- four years ago? How old? When, when, Five years ago. When were you a sophomore? 16, 17. 16, 17, and you're how old now? 21. So yeah, like five years ago. Yeah, no, exactly. Like gaming wasn't really like that was before even Fortnite. I feel like once Fortnite low key got popping, then everyone was like, "Oh shit, gaming!" Especially with COVID and shit too. Well, listen, we were doing pretty all right well, already by the yeah, time yeah, Fortnite no, I, came I, out. I, yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm saying, I'm saying like at least no, 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 no. no. Like you, I know, guys, you I know guys, what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying like at, at like the the, at the, the the mass level. Yeah, 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 like yeah. The, the, the mass most, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The mass level. Yeah, the ninja yeah. days where he was on Sports Illustrated oh, and yeah, he like yeah. transcended. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you know, back in, again, back in those days, and look, it's going to be very easy, and this is something that you as a human have to also be very mindful of, that just because we're talking about, hey, you know, carpenters love to work with wood, and steel people like to work with steel, et cetera, et cetera. Like, it's in your DNA what you like to do. Why do I like to draw? I don't fucking know, but it's in my DNA to be able to draw, to be creative from that sense. Yeah. You tell me how to be, how to do a spreadsheet and how to be good at math. I'm not your guy. I, my, my brain doesn't work like that. But if you ask somebody like like Scum, for example, it's like how many how many more seconds do we need in a flag before like the domination? <laughs> like he'll fucking do the math on the fly. Yeah. My brain's not wired like that, but he has that DNA. That's what I'm saying. Him, That's what I'm right? saying. Like um, so, identifying what people were. So at the end of the day, man, we're, we're, we're bound to the DNA and, and something somewhere tells us, like, Matt, a quiet individual, right? Very quiet, but loves to work with, but he loves to do but, but, but that's build, his DNA. plug shit. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so sorry. everybody has something in, the, in their DNA, and it's okay to step away from there if, if you don't believe that that is what you, you were yeah, only yeah. supposed to be doing, right? But, you know, it's in you to fucking have something in you that says... I like to put setups together and figure out the complexity of this cable, how it interacts with this shit and that shit. Don't, I, I cannot, that's not me. My computer says, gets gets a little sign and I'm like, ah, call Matt immediately. I can't, I, my brain will not allow me to do that. It's not that I'm old. I, I grew up with technology. I was, I was here for the internet, right? And I was here. Like you just can't do it. Pre the internet, right? So with with you saying like, I, why the fuck would I, should I learn that if I have Google here? That's it just points saying. to the fact that they haven't implemented a new strategy in our educational system and curriculum that implements this internet thing as a tool. And the conspiracy theorists would say that John D. Rockefeller funded a lot of the school systems and the curriculum because he wanted to create good employees, people that can follow the rules and can stay in a box and can do their fucking job <laughs> so that I, John D. Rockefeller, can make as much money off of them as possible. They actually don't. I'm pretty sure in schools, they don't even, well, at least whenever I went, bro, they wouldn't even let you Google shit. What do you mean? Like, I'm saying, like, they just wouldn't let you Google shit. I don't really know. Like, like a homework. You can't, you can't Google, like, yo, what is the answer to this shit? Yeah. They would just, like, because, like, teacher was, obviously, they would review and they'd be like, yeah. oh, they just copy and paste it from Google. Like, mm-hmm. well, technic- actually, well, that makes sense, though. About it, because like you're literally copying and pasting from Google. Well, no, but you're reading it, though. That, wait, no, that's what I'm saying, though. Yeah. Like, you're, you're actually taking your time and, you're and doing like, the research. Yeah, yeah. But you're not going through it. Encyc- I had to use encyclopedias, okay, Britannicas. That, yeah, yeah, I had that, to go that. to the library and go from A to B to C, and then, like, fuck, how do you spell that? Where do I go to know how to spell that? <laughs> Like you have to go to the dictionary, a dictionary. Oh, actually, that's... wait, now, yeah, we actually did that too to an extent. Like, get a book and then, like, like get like read through and like make sure you do exactly like the sentence and shit like that. Yeah, but the fact that you, Matt, and me would have gotten taught the same thing the same way and expected to be a productive member of society is makes no sense. You're creating employees here. You're not creating a, a, a free human that's going to explore what their passions are. Some people are born to sing. I can't sing worth a lick. Listen, bro, the, dude, the way it's, like, set up, it's rigged, bro. I'm telling you, dude. They, they, they want everyone to have a normal life. Yeah. They, or, or not, like, like, an average life. You know what I'm saying? They don't want anyone to succeed. At least that's what the way it seems like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I know. I know... The I know the thought behind what you're saying because like uh, literally this is how it is. It's just like the the quote unquote matrix. You know what mm-hmm, I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
go to school. Once you go to school, you try to get a degree from college, right? You're paying all this money. And then from there, like, you just get that, you know, regular degree. And then from there, you're just living that nine to five every single day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I have a friend of mine. His name is uh, Omens, right? This dude's been on the front page of graffiti magazines. He's been, like, he's, he's part of the two of the most renowned, if not the most renowned graffiti crews in the world. Excellent artist. He went to college to an art school. And I was like, Mike, what the fuck can that teacher possibly teach you about art, man? You saw this out? Yeah. I mean, it's back in the day. And then, <laughs> I, you know, now, now also, right? But, but that's just like the trap that people put you in, right? Because they, they say, all right, the only, they, they sell you on the fact that you're only going to be able to get a job if yeah. you have a fucking degree. Mm. That's true in certain, you know, work, work things. People like ants, like uh, uh, termites, like whatever, everybody is appointed something. There are humans that are really big and, and, and strong. That's just their body makeup, right? Those are the people that, you know, that they're either meant to be athletic and athletes or are meant to be able to pick up heavy shit and move one rock to another place to build uh, a, like a, a structure, beast. right? This is what this thing is lacking. So I wanted all to say is that it's okay that you didn't know where Maine was. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, because it, because it, who, like, who cares, right? Like it's, it's, uh, oh, it's that. But man. now you know, right? I'm yeah, yeah. you'll never forget it. No, hundred percent. Top, literally top right, making no noise. That us. making no noise. <laughs> what, what, what? Uh, Matt, 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 can you look up what cool has come out of Maine? And if you're from Maine and you're watching this. Please don't leave a thumbs down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I like you, bro. Like, listen, yeah, it's, it's not you. It's your state, right? Yeah, it's not you. It's your state. I'm making no noise. <laughs> Are there any good rappers out of there? Any good artists? There we go. Uh, look at this. Stephen King. Ever heard of Stephen King? Uh, look at main celebrities. These are all celebrities from there. Do you know who Stephen King is? No, nah, actually. I, I feel like I've heard of that, though. Yeah, everybody in the world has heard. Have you seen the movie It? It? Yeah. Is that the, the clown? Movie? Yeah. With the clown? That's him? That's him, Stephen King. He's the one in the clown? No, he's the one that created the story, the idea oh, of it. Oh. He wrote a book. This is there's like many books. Um, let me see. John Ford, uh, Timothy Simmons, Hannibal Hamlin, Patrick, Patrick Dempsey. Uh, Matt wanted to highlight. Just let the record show. Matt wanted to highlight the fact that Patrick Dempsey from Grace Anatomy, uh, Doctor Wait, Doctor Dreamy, what's his name? McDreamy, Doctor McDreamy. Um, is uh is in there anyway? So Maine 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 has done something. And type in rappers from Maine. Nothing. <laughs> uh, he's uh, rappers from Maine. Spo Soul. Mac Maine. Mac Maine. Shout out y'all, bro. Yeah, shout out y'all, man. Click on Soul. You've heard of one of the shits? Oh no. Um. Anyway, long long story short, it's it's not it's not a big deal, right? Because it would be a big deal if you weren't doing anything with your life if you were just sitting there nothing and, and there's nothing like I, I i i want people to understand that no matter your profession no matter your job um for example before all this i was working in the mortgage industry doing something that i didn't like i was just really good at fucking doing certain things right so as soon as i heard that there was money to be made on that i fucking did everything that i could to make as much money as i could doing that but i was never that was never my thing that's why that's why when when youtube came out and Gaming on YouTube came out, and Hutch said to me, he's like, dude, I'm getting paid $2.50 every 1,000 views on videos. Damn. I, I thought to myself, I am never going to do anything for the rest of my life. I am here, standing here in front of you 14 years after that moment telling you that I am living proof that I, well, I am living proof that what I said was going to be the truth. There's never going to be another day That's in which crazy. I do anything else besides that. It's crazy. You were there when YouTube literally launched. That's yeah. fucking. Was I there? When, when was the launch? Two thousand five. Your boy was four. I, I uploaded fucking... my first video in two thousand and six. It was me painting a train, a graffiti train. Well, I was painting graffiti on a train. Yeah. Uh, I took that shit down, obviously, because it's illegal. Uh, we're not gonna talk about that. Okay. <laughs> uh, and then after that, I started uploading gaming yeah. videos, and then you know, I, I was set on a trajectory to go do do something else. But you know the arts and 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 it it didn't matter the form of art that it was whether it was painting or whether it was like uh, molding or uh, you were just doing what you were enjoying yeah and you were making cash of it and that's like that's the best oh. shit at the end of the day well I did for I, I did YouTube for two years before we got paid anything I was just oh. doing it for fun oh, it was a creative outlet for me well, uh, but then then we started we started to make money um, 
but yeah, like I lived in a world where the internet wasn't a thing. I lived in a world when, where an iPhone wasn't a fucking thing. You know what I mean? Like, it. it I, that's insane. I, I, cause dude, I lived in a world where all that just a thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had my first phone. It was literally a smartphone. Yeah. You had a call going the browser. You, you weren't able to do that. What was it? Uh, an, an Android fucking. Ew. I don't even know. Some dog shit though. Yeah. <laughs> Android people, man. Oh, they, they fucking. Yeah. You know, they're fucking little, like, that little logo, like the fucking little green robot. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. No offense to the brand, but, you know. Yeah. Um, what, what I. What I will say, and, and we can close that out uh, on this, is that you know a lot a lot of people get so bogged down and depressed on themselves because they didn't do good in school, when it doesn't fucking matter at the end of the day. Mm. Getting a diploma is 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 pretty much uh, uh, to me. High school was more of a social experiment more than anything. Yeah, no, it was hundred percent. It was a reason I, for I me to go somewhere to hang out with my friends. And I had a dope ass high school with fucking dope people around every every so every walk of life also. Like that's the other thing that 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 this day and age is a little bit in some in some areas is still very focused on like the the separation of like you know black white Mexicans and all that like they don't it's it's so tough so much tougher on you guys now growing up than it was for us yeah. growing up in the, the the way that we did yeah especially with like drugs and stuff like that I feel like now it's like a little bit more increased compared to like back then because back then I feel like you were you didn't have like access to stuff like that but now like everyone's fucking vaping smoking you know what i'm saying yeah but in, in high school my high school this is i'm, I'm sorry this is 1994 1997 Holy so 94 shit. i was a freshman 95 i was a sophomore 96 i was a junior 97 when i graduated okay was everyone happier back then yeah yeah man it, 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 we were we were i in, in my high school Damn. um in, in in my high school i, I don't want to be um insensitive to 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 a very very important topic that when it comes to mental health but in my high school there was only one dude that we have heard of that has that has passed away from from suicide that committed suicide yeah aside from that like nobody like even bullying back then like in in my time nobody put up with that bullying shit no one put up with bullying like if somebody saw somebody weak getting picked on like somebody fucking said something you know what i mean like that shit never flew that, that shit never flew what and, would change bro the, the internet gave i don't know i don't know but it, it's it's like a double-edged sword because we're in in such a better place now that we have the internet than than we did back then but um 94 95 and 96 the only reason i ask because like i see like videos like uh just back then like 2001 or not 2001 but like 1995 something like that and like mm -hmm. All the all the kids are like they're recording off the, like some dog shit video taper and well, like it wasn't dog shit back then it was perfect yeah, 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 yeah it was yeah. perfect back then but like everyone's all happy smiling vibing no one's on their phones everyone's yeah. interacting with one another so it's like insane to like think about like you go from there to now everyone's literally on their phone at lunch yeah. you know what I'm saying it's yeah. it's just like it's insane the phone is actually like literally a part of you essentially. Yeah. You know, fights back then too, like fights was one on one. And if somebody stepped in, then somebody else stepped in. And it was like a two V two at that at that point. But like even then, like there was there was a little bit of a I don't know. Uh I reminisce a lot about the old days because it was such a fucking good, good, good time. Everything was fucking new, man. Imagine imagine one day your friend says he's like, Yo, I got the internet and you're like, What the fuck is the internet? He's like <laughs> He's like, he's like the internet, like it's like a it's like a library, but on the computer. And I was like, what do you mean? He's like, you can think about anything that you want to know. And I'll be like, um, where, where exactly are the pyramids? And they will tell you, and then it will show you a map as to where like that was as closest to it. And you're just mind blown at, at that because <laughs> to find out anything about the pyramids, and, and then the fact that it gave you information about the pyramids, right? Yeah. That's that to me was like, I'm like crazy. And then I'm like, I'm like, look up graffiti. <laughs> You 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 <laughs> click on no, yeah listen you type graffiti and you click search yeah. and then they gave you this thing called artcrimes.com and then you go to artcrimes.com and you see pictures from all over the world and you got to see pe you got to see people's styles from all over the world and that, you're like, that is sick That's yeah sick. and uh, well yeah and you're like oh my god this is the fucking greatest shit ever you you just got better because you saw your peers how much better your peers were than you and then you saw the internet yeah and, and it's just like elevated right so imagine that though like it's sick. a year before that it didn't exist. That shit's fucking... To order, to order spray paint, you had to go to the city and know a guy that has, that, that knows a guy that, that, that sold spray paint. It wasn't as easy as like, I can go get anything right now on the internet, right fucking now. Really? That did not exist. Think can about that. Can you just that. get spray, spray paint at like Home Depot or some shit? 
Yeah, but you know, special so like special spray paint. Oh, yeah, like yeah, graffiti yeah. spray. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, okay. there's brands like, like like special brands with different colors. Oh. At Home Depot, you have like your basic black, white. You know, Orange. now they're all there, right? Yeah. Um, because of you know, it, it it just became bigger. But back in the day, to get the special colors, you had to go online and do that. Um, something as simple as like, you just it, it's just everything got simplified, man. My 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 uh, the first time I ever played video games online was with uh, SOCOM. Do you remember SOCOM? What was that? SOCOM is uh, it's it's a video game. I played it online. Anyway, that's the first time that I I, I did that. Um, <laughs> really? uh, give me a second while I say hello to our sponsor. This episode is Shopify, none other than Shopify. So you guys know for the longest time, Optic and myself have been using Shopify. Every single one of the stickers that you ordered. Uh, every single apparel piece that you've ordered, they've all been done through Shopify. Whether it's the mini walls, whether it's the skateboards, whether it's our apparel, uh, it, you know that is all we need. Shopify is an e-commerce platform that allows small businesses to medium-sized businesses to super large businesses to be able to deliver something to their customers in an easy platform all in one place for them to be able to have a close relationship with their customers. Um, you know, it is packed with industry-leading tools ready to ignite your growth. Shopify gives you complete control over your business and your brand without having to learn any new skills in design code. And thanks to the 24-7 help and extensive business uh, course library, Shopify is also there to support your success every single step of the way. Sign up for a $1 a month per month trial period at shopify.com slash eavesdrop. That's E-A-V-E-S-D-R-O-P. Sign up for $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash eavesdrop. I'm going to put the link in the description down below so it's super easy for you to go and do it. So if you go to shopify.com slash eavesdrop, you can take your business to the next level today. Shopify.com slash eavesdrop. Uh, um, just remember, every minute, new sellers around the world are revolutionizing their business by making their first sales with Shopify. So why can't it be you? My wife, Judith, who uses, uh, who sells leashes for dogs and bandanas for dogs. Um, you can find also her link in the description. Liveandjude.com is the, is the name of this. Uh, Liveandjude.com, you can find it in the description also down below. Uh, but do head over to Shopify.com to be able to start your journey into being able to provide a great service for your customers and yourself. Back to my man, Shotzi. Yeah, it's uh, back, back in my day, it was fucking cool. Anyway, I don't know how we got to all of that reminiscence, but <laughs> it, it came from, from you not knowing where Maine was. Um, you want to talk uh, Call of Duty a little bit? Yeah. What are you mad about, man? What could you change? Call of Duty? Yeah, what would you change right now if you could? That's a good question. Um, what can I change like, about What Call would be Duty? better if that happened? Like, you're talking about just the game or you're talking about, like, CDL, like, getting bigger? What are you talking about? The whole thing. First thing that comes to mind. Um, CDL getting bigger. You know, one thing that I wish that they'd bring back, which I'm not really sure how you feel about it, but, you know, when they did Black Ops 4, like, they do, they'd have camera people follow people around and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And just, like, interacting with, like, you know, different teams and mm -hmm. seeing, like, behind the scenes and stuff like that. Just because, like, the way it is right now, it's kind of like, all right, the main broadcast is talking, then there's a match. There's no, like, content in these games to have people, like, locked on watching 24-7. You know what I'm saying? No, give me an example. Like, uh, basically, th this is, uh, like, Optic match, right? Mm -hmm. So it, they're talking about, like, Optic, like, oh, vetoes, uh, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Five-minute break, 10-minute break, 15-minute break. I don't know, I'm not really sure how many breaks they take, but there's no, like, there's nothing in between that. There's people just like, all right, I'm just going to go somewhere else for a little bit and then just, like, like and, the then cast I'll, and then I'll you watch. Mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's no, like, content in between those, like, little breaks to where, like, they had in Black Ops 4. There yeah. was, like, dude, dude, like, bro, I'm not drilling. When I was watching that shit in Black Ops 4, I was like, dude. I want to be, I, I want to be a fucking pro just because I like, dude, it looked like behind the, you're able to see like behind the scenes interacting with one another. Like it's just, it was cool as fuck. And That's I wish that like there was a camera crew following us every single major, literally just like seeing behind the things like a practicing. CDL because we have our own cameras following you every no, single No, no, a specific CDL because like us, it's different. Obviously that's our, our own thing, but like specifically a CDL person because like the, no one knows like how, how it's like being a well obviously besides like the process and stuff like that mm -hmm. but there's more than you know just us probably like because like we go to the hotel we have people going to the hotel with us going you know in our rooms just stuff like that because that's i'm not really sure if you saw like uh the black Ops Four one but mm -hmm. like bro the way they made it was fucking dope yeah and, and they had like really funny like uh clips as well i agree you would be okay with a cdl person coming to your room at 10 a.m fuck yeah hell yeah Should follow you hell yeah all right 
we're gonna do that for our own content. No, I'm kidding. Uh, but no, do it. but but, uh, do but it. it is it is. I agree with you. It is it is something that that people because like, no what? one knows like yeah. how like everyone just thinks like they only see us playing. No one knows like, I mean they know, but like they don't see it. You know what I'm saying? No one sees like the shit that they like, wake up at ten. Like bro, I, I go on my runs. Like like before match days, I go on my runs. Like no one no one sees. Where do you run? In the uh, I just no. We're just like around. I like running outside. I kind of just, me and Kyler actually ran the the day that we got to Ohio. Okay. For yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying. No one sees any of that. That's one thing that I, I swear would elevate just the CDL because it would bring more. Like it would just allow people to to like choose specific. Like yo, I actually like this guy because of this content. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, relatability more than yeah. anything. Yeah, hundred um, percent. I agree. But and 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 a lot a lot has changed because of the league becoming a league, right? The, the amount of money that was invested into that thing goes to a specific bucket. Yeah. And the specific bucket has to do strictly with just that. So for them to allocate additional resources and take money from here to add another camera person, an editor there it's, to follow that, yeah, it's, it's a little bit more. But it, it, it is something that would elevate it, so it would be a worthwhile investment for them to to do that instead of maybe something else, right? I, I, I don't... I don't have any ideas off the top of my head, but that is interesting that, that you call that out because I have. You're right. I haven't seen. Um, you know what? What do people do on their on their on their off days? Like, what did they do for off season? It's like, hey, where'd you go for off season? People is like, oh man, I went to the to the pyramids. I went to Italy. I went to you know. They, 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 they I agree with the fact that there should be some footage being captured, and it doesn't even have to be a a, a camera person. Uh, somebody from the league from production can hit up. Um, who went somewhere? Oh, uh, Pred. He, he he goes to Australia, right? Yeah. Uh, the thing. Um, the London folks. They go back to London. Imagine if you just if you somebody told him is a hey when you're out there can you vlog one of the days and they could be like all right yeah I'll go out of my way to vlog it all the days and then just give me the footage even if it's iPhone footage it's still oh dude, iPhone foot four K bro that shit's good yeah it, it, I think good. I think I think people people would like to see that I think it's a it's an excellent idea. Um, what else? What about from a from a uh, dead silence? I feel like that. This, and then the sound EQ is just it's just it, like that's the thing now it's like it's gotten to a point where like I mean I, I've never been the one in everything that I've been on we've never been the one to like express to, like to an extent though obviously like we say like in our streams like oh like sound EQ but like we never actually go out of the way and tweet like yo this game's dog shit like fuck the sound EQ shit because like that's just not gonna do anything I'd, I'd rather talk to someone and be like yo is there any way we could get this figured out and stuff like that mm -hmm. so um, so he sounded cute, dead silence. I mean, we've expressed our opinions in the, the rep chat, but obviously nothing um, could get done because it's like a, the way the works is like confusing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you know how it is. Like, it's not as easy as like, yo, do this for us. Yeah. So. Yeah, but I, I think I think that has that's more technical with the with the coding of the game mm. um, than anything else, especially the sound EQ shit. And I, I still to this day, I don't know how I, I don't want to fucking know. Um, <laughs> No, yeah, that's but definitely a big problem. We're about to have our owners meeting uh, in Vegas, like the first one in, I, don't, I can't even tell you the last time we had an in-person owners meeting where we get to sit down with the league and, and discuss things. Yo, that's gonna... Yeah, you wanna go? Uh, I mean... You, you wanna come speak your piece to the ownership group? Would they even let me? Let you. You do whatever, you shot so you do whatever you want. Are players gonna be there? Wait, no, I... it's just owners. Oh, oh then that's yep. all you hear. Yeah, if you if you want me to say something on the players' behalf, please. Well, yeah, basically, like honestly, just that I feel like I mean, there's probably more shit, but like I'd actually have to sit there. and like, What about think. the structure of it? Do you like the the way that it's broken nah. out right now? No, 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 hell no. Like, <laughs> what what do you what do you think could be better? Cause, like more. Uh, well, there was a conversation that we had a, like during the Huntsman days when it first when the league first started, mm. we we were we were saying it's like why did why did uh, weekend tournaments go away? Right, like weekend tournaments versus um, matches as we have now, and then obviously in the last one, I think it was Aches and and uh, and Parasite. We're talking about how they should do um, uh, two case and five case, and you know oh, S and yeah. D tournaments or whatever, yes. like that sort of thing. Instead of having, but then with, with that, I don't I don't even know how they how, how they be how they would do that. You know, well, the I mean? way well, like so, the way it's set up right now is so, like throughout the stage, we obviously play five matches, and like every team, every like every week, there's like a team could play either two matches or one matches. There's never like they're never ever playing three. Wait, I think actually Rocker played three because mm -hmm. like they were at that one. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that doesn't even count. That's what count. Um, the way oh, no. I don't know. They, they need to somehow balance it with like if it's because like it's just so weird. If a team is playing two matches within that weekend, and then like you're playing against a team that only has played one, like you have the advantage going into that series because like you have a rep. You you like you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. And there's definitely like some sort of 
there has to be a balance there. Like, yeah. I feel like the dude, the best week that we've ever had, and I'm probably saying like viewership wise, was do you remember Cold War where like they everything was backed up because like a specific reason, and like we had a specific week only with matches. There was not a single day where there wasn't a match. Bro, that shit was popping. Yeah. Like, if, if you actually go back, I'm not sure if you can pull it up, but, like, I remember seeing a tweet where, like, that shit banged just because, like, there was matches back to back to back to back, and, like, people were actually, like, not having to sit there and wait a day and, like, you know, stuff like that. So yeah. I definitely feel like that having just matches throughout that weekend or that entire week was just entertaining for the viewers just because they allowed them to keep, like, watching, like, yo, tomorrow there's, like, yo, this is it. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, like, oh, next week you get a match. But what, but, so then what happens on the weekends? Uh, weekends like either day off like the you know they could have those day offs and then like from there they could probably have like a 2k following like the monday or like i mean they could probably have a 2k like in that weekend low-key depending on like how the schedule would be exactly but there's yeah. definitely a better way to do it because like right now it's literally like every five in five weeks you play your five matches i am not the the guy for tournament solving or structure solving i'm that's that's not me i think uh I don't know. I think the players should be the ones that, that 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 come up with something that's that's more meaningful and fun to them. Because if it's meaningful and fun to you guys, mm. minus the GA shit, the GA shit, I don't think I could ever agree with. And in certain in certain cases, right? Obviously. Yeah, yeah, not but I think, um, like, if they banned snipers this year, I would have been fucking like the GA, <laughs> GA, GA y'all gone too far. Uh, but but everything else, I think that that like from from a structure perspective on on what you guys think would be more entertaining for you guys to play, what's more meaningful that'll make you try harder to beat the other team, yeah. is what the fans are going to gravitate more towards because if it's meaningful to you, it's going to be meaningful to them. And if it's meaningful to them, everything else will fall into place because we live and die by their interest, right? Yes, that's what that's that's how we live our life, right? Which is which is uh, which is good. It should be that way. Like we're like you guys are here to to compete at the highest level, but simultaneously, almost at the same level of importance, is to entertain the people that that are. I don't gonna... think it, the, I, that's like the one thing that the GA, the sniper, like no. Whenever they're doing that, I feel like they're voting based on like obviously their team and like what they prefer. But in reality, like we do, we actually have to think about like what the viewers want because right. like. Bro, if we don't have the viewers, we don't have us. Or yeah. like we don't have any like no. we, we aren't getting fucking paid. Like no. you know what I'm saying? So that's why I never really understand like the way that GA shit works, just because like bro, we have to think about these guys, bro. They're the one making us the money. We're not making the money. Like yeah. we're just good at the game. Yeah. You just yep. Literally. Yeah. So I mean, you know, who knows who knows how the how, how that's gonna be. I mean we're discussing a bunch of stuff, not not anything not one thing in specific. It's like the whole the everything. Yeah. The state of the league. The the deals that are on the table. I will say, shout out the CDL for allowing Twitch and YouTube to be streamed, because that is a humongous W. I cannot tell you, like, dude. What? what how would you feel if next year or two years from now I went exclusive to YouTube? Uh, yeah. Uh definitely disappointed, just because I feel like Twitch is more like a uh, Twitch is always like is like the biggest gaming space. Like people are able to like. I feel like there's so much new dude, especially in my Twitch channel, like. Bro, there's so much new people that don't even know, like, that didn't even know about CDL that mm -hmm. are like, yo, I watch you because of CDL now, like, all this. And, and I'm like, damn, like, and it's because of Twitch. I didn't get this last year. Last yeah. year, the people aren't coming to my chat saying, like, yo, you know, I, I, this, I'm new because, uh, you know, I've seen you on YouTube, CDL. Like, no one's, like, people are able to see or, like, people know of YouTube, but they don't actually, like, get that notification and then somehow, like, get on Call of Duty Live and, like, watch us play on YouTube. I feel like it, Twitch is more of, like, a... A broad audience getting new people and new players and all that good stuff do you only see yourself doing this are there any other side passion obviously you're, you're you know running and you just bought a bike as i saw on your vlog or something you're going biking also are those like your main focuses outside of gaming like the thing that yeah that that's entertains like, you the most th those are like uh stress-free like things that i love doing like though those are like getting my mind off like you know because like you know playing every single day like 24 or not 24 hours but but like playing every single day, sitting on your ass, it like could definitely be tiring at times. Yeah. And you know, going out and just just having a light jog or just bike uh bicycling is definitely like uh refreshes the brand, I guess you could say. And before one of you, right? Because a lot the majority of you get it, but before one of you or two of you say, You're just sitting there all game, I fucking, you know, break bricks all day or fucking lift, you know, whatever. Like we get it, we understand, right? But it's it is it is the thing that you have to do in order to keep it. Um, yeah. Well, it's just it's just more of doing it like at a high level because like gaming, just casually gaming, just like you know having fun. That's one thing, but like actually sitting there and like, because it's it's not like off all ha like, like whenever you're losing, right? It's definitely like 
it's definitely challenging just because of the fact that like you have to sit there and you know discuss with your teammates like yo let's try to do this like we gotta you know try to fix this and then if you don't see that success like if you don't see that you know improvement by you talking about that then like from there you're kind of just it's just like it's just a an entire roller coaster at times whenever you're communing there's so many highs and lows to where it might not seem like it's tiring but in all reality like from a mental perspective it, it is taxing it, yeah it's definitely taxing and no one really sees that and no one will probably understand just because like they've never been in our situation but yeah uh, I mean, I could only. And also, and... no one's saying that your heart is, or, or that this job is harder than your job. Yeah. Period. Right. So, um, we all know the. I respect anyone that does anything. Yeah. Like they could be literally anything. I respect it. Yeah. Just respect ours. Yeah. You know, That's good. That's a good way to put it. Um, you hit uh twenty thousand subscribers. How, how did that moment feel for you? Like to feel that level of support. Dude, that, bro, that that felt insane i remember that specific stream like we were just vibing next you know gifties out of nowhere everyone's going crazy and it's insane like oh my god it's so it's so crazy because like whenever back then i would stream and i did it because i i seriously enjoyed it i didn't i never thought about oh the money and stuff like that i actually enjoyed it like interacting with one another one another because i the first time i ever streamed was an h2a on my xbox i got 100 viewers one time in a tournament Dude, I, bro, we literally got second, but I was so happy that like I had a hundred viewers like interacting in the chat, and I was like, and then the guy was like, bro, are you are mad like we just lost? I was like, I was like, no, nah, not really, bro. And then next, fast forward now, like I have a community that I know, I, I see names in my Twitch chat every once, like coming back and forth, back and forth. People are saying, like, yo, your your streams help me a lot. I'm going through like some tough times, and that, that feels good, right? That feels good, like, yeah. dude. That shit wants to make me, like, even when I don't want to stream that day just because I had, like, you know, a long practice day of scrims, I got to do some other stuff. I want to literally get on specifically because of the comments, literally. I, um, I, when we, when we came in second again, this, this, this past event, I, uh, as, uh, you know, I, I tapped you on the back. I'm like, yo, listen, you know, we'll, we'll get them next time. And you're like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. What's your, what's your mentality like? The, I think you're, you're, you're. You're one of the few, I mean, you, you might be one of three players that I've worked with in my entire career that has that 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 ability to say, it's like, it's like, we lost, we didn't accomplish that goal, so now I have to focus on accomplishing the goal next time. So you immediately set that aside, it's like, all right, oh, didn't, I do it didn't hit it. Yeah. Yeah, uh, like oh. within like at least the first 30 minutes. Just because the way I look at it, like, for one, we're blessed to even be gaming, uh, first of all. Like, I've, I've done this since a little kid, and I... I seriously enjoy this like this is literally my childhood like i don't know this is just my passion i love this shit right so we're we're blessed to do this as a living too eyes forward like always i i feel like i've always done like back then i've always looked at the back or mm -hmm. in the past and like tried to see like oh i could have done this but in all reality like looking at shit in hindsight is just so annoying because you can't fix it at the end of the day like you could only sit there and discuss like oh we could have done this but like in reality reality dude just eyes forward improve on getting better you know learn from that tournament whatever we could improve on you know talk about that and then go from there so um and i yeah i've always been just been like that how do you help your your teammates have that same mentality luckily i've had teammates that like are on the same like same mindset like brandon obviously he gets mad at as soon as we lose but he understands like dude he wants to win like you know brandon like he wants to win Kyler, you know kyler. kyler kyler doesn't like still vibe me and then dan he's obviously trying to get his first ship uh into the league so I just have people around me that are so hungry that it, like, that just help me with this mindset. You, you know? feel a level of comfort in saying it's like, hey, we didn't do it this time, but we are gonna do it. Yeah, it'd be okay. different if we like we lost, and then like, for whatever reason, like someone would be tweaking on like us not winning because of our like practice. Like, mm -hmm. oh, like, you know, we need fucking start doing. But everyone trusts like the process, and that's what's really good about this team. And you know, we gotta keep doing that for me, uh, yeah. Toronto. Is it tough getting that close, like back to back? Oh, yeah, like, you're like, you're, dude, you're it, almost there. So it was annoying, but like I, I, I understand the like back to back, especially with these new Call of Duties. Like, dude, that is so fucking typical. And on top of that, like we just like as long as we keep doing what we have been doing the past two majors in terms of practice wise, like, bro, we have like this is the first thing that like Dan, as soon as Jan, Dan joined, we have actually sat there in practice and tr like we have been winning. Or, well, not that scrims matter, but like, bro, we win like most of the, most of the maps every single time, like, cons uh, like consistently, and we sit there and like we don't want to, or like, 
Then we go into our next room wanting to like shit on the next team. Like we keep doing that over and over and over. And this is like the same mindset that our MW team had that is really, really good just mm -hmm. because like there's teams that get on and don't want to like, they don't want to scram. They, you know, they lose a map, they lose full. And, but like this team is hungry. Like mm -hmm. we want to win. And that's what we're going to continue do, doing for, uh, for Toronto. We just got to keep improving. Out of, out of all the, out of all the places that we go to and visit, which one do you like the most? Obviously, aside from ours, obviously ours is super vibey oh, yeah. and shit, but. Honestly, Toronto. Toronto? Toronto, dude, yeah. I love Toronto, bro. Hell yeah. You just like. Everything about just, it. Bro, it's literally like, I that ass was there, and I was like, bro, I'd low-key live here, like if I could, but mm -hmm. I ain't living there, bro, you know what? <laughs> nah. Just because it's too far. So like, cold. Yeah. <laughs> that, that too, I mean, that, right? It, yeah. gets, it gets super cold. No, I, I, uh, it's one of my favorite places to go to. Um, I, I, I hate, the, the, the thing that I hate the most about the league is the fact that we are sort of like locked into this one thing. Like I should be allowed to throw the optic major anywhere that I want. If I want to throw it in Mexico City, I should be able to throw it in Mexico City. If I want to go, I mean, London's obviously they have the, the Ravens, but, but if they're not throwing an event in London, we as optic should be able to throw an event Anyway, I actually didn't know that. I'm not gonna lie. I well, didn't know that you guys weren't able to like choose your location. We can only do Texas because that's our that's our our region. Mm -hmm. Hey, optic is global. You know what I mean? We should be able to go fucking. We should get like. Can we go back to Australia? Like Melbourne was one That'd of the best. I mean the the the, the flights no joke, right? <laughs> I'm t it's well, like forty hours. Well, nineteen from Chicago. Oh my god! Four four hours from Chicago to LA. One hour layover, and then fourteen hours from there to Melbourne. That's, imagine we have to go to Perth. That's like a, a on the other side of the of the continent. Is it a continent? Yeah, right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many continents there are? Thirteen, right? Yeah. Yep. Well, the only reason I know is because you said it in the beginning. No, it's so, so thirteen colonies. Oh sure. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're not the pilot. You don't need to know. You yeah, know, as long as you get there, you got a pilot, man. As long as he gets there. Um, yeah, and I, I. I I, I th that's the one thing that I miss most about about that stuff. Like, uh, you know, with with UMG and MLG, like we were like a and and and, and people dismiss it because it sounds like clown shit, a circus, right? A traveling a traveling carnival, a traveling show. WWE travels oh. everywhere. That's what this is. Not necessarily makeup, you know, wrestling or makeup co competition. The competition's there, but this is I'm, I'm talking about like the ability to to say hello to all everybody that that that. That, that lives in a certain place, right? Like we've never, ever had one in Nebraska. Why? <laughs> There's what? Call of Duty players in Nebraska. Never had one in... And, uh... and, and, and we shouldn't... We, we as, as players or, 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 or part of the show people, like, there's nothing to do in Nebraska. Like, well, one, we don't know that. And two, we're not there. You're there to fucking play. We're there to give them something to do. On Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, we're yeah. we're there to everybody loves Call of Duty to go show up and and, and do something. Brazil, we've never had a Call of Duty event Bro, in Brazil. People travel anywhere, like it, literally anywhere. Like no one, no one understands that. Anyway, I have a question. What is the reasoning? Like, cause like I've only been in the CDL era, and what it like, I like all, obviously like all other games are like popular, and they have like an insane arena. So what is the reasoning? What on, do you mean arena? Like uh, just like the way they, uh, just like the arena that they play in. Okay, like, you know what I'm saying? Like how it's like big their bleachers aren't like it's like a literally like a nba yeah, yeah, type yeah. or not an nba but like an nfl type stadium not nfl but mm -hmm. like you know what i'm saying like a bro like a bigger yeah stadium what is the reason why like we haven't like you know what i'm saying like, well huntsman we did. not get there oh really well huntsman we we were we were supposed to have a um we were, we were supposed to play in a stadium where they in like a basketball no stadium way. yeah it was, it, was, it, was, it was big but even then like I don't. I don't know what it is. I think. I think that there's also like a little bit of a, of, I don't want to say selfishness or or, or protectiveness. Over, but is it the funding? Oh no! It's it's just it's, it's everybody owns a territory, right? Los Angeles has a territory in Los Angeles. Two Los Angeles teams. Um, Toronto, right? Toronto's got their own thing. So I, I don't think. I, I think that the amount of promotion that goes into these things isn't as as as. Uh, as as collaborative as it should be everybody from every team should be promoting the fact that they're going to to toronto now oh hell yeah now there is something to be said about the fact that it's like uh let's say they're the, the utah the utah manfrotos right this is the, the the 13th or yeah the 13th cdl team right just making this shit up hmm. 
if if they have no following and they don't do an effort to create a fan base and they just have a a, a, a low tier team, then you should team, advertise them. Not that we shouldn't advertise them, but they should they should allow us. I'm just talking for optic. Like yeah, I yeah. would be okay with promoting the Utah Manfrotto's and their event, saying, "Yo, we're gonna be there. We're gonna do a a, a, a signing session and all this shit." But we can't do that because that would be us advertising our brand in their market to their team. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's, there's talent. protective yeah. rights is yeah. what it's called. But I think that because of where this league is and how this league has been operating for, for such a long time, and yeah, I'm, I'm speaking for a very, you know, specific place because we're, we're, we're very, I don't want to say lucky. That's the wrong word. We are very fortunate that we were able to work our asses off and we have that, you know, reflection, reflected in how big the green wall is. Yeah. Right? But if we are going to promote, like people say, yeah, yo, everybody should promote this thing. It's like, yeah, but allow me to sell T-shirts there then for the people that are going there to see us. You, I, I'm not going to tell Green Wall people from Utah to go mm. over there to like your fucking team. That, that makes no sense to me, right? It's definitely tricky to like do that. Yeah, and, and there's nothing wrong. Like think about Minnesota, right? Minnesota does an excellent job. Uh, the fact that they play on two days like o overshadowed the, the, the goal and the opportunity for, for, for what they are trying to do. But Minnesota does a really good job of of uh, of promoting to their to their fan base in their in the, in their region, and there's there are people there who are massive optic fans, but when it came down to it, they chose right. Some of them chose their home team, which is the Rocker, and some oh, some of them decided to be like, you know, I like optic, but I'm gonna cheer for my home team because it's my home team. Others were like, I'm Minnesota, but I'm I'm a Greenwell member, right? But those same Greenwall people, Greenwall members, were going to the Minnesota event, so they were able to capitalize on on, on the food concessions on, on on the event in in some some way, shape, or form. So, I think I think the fact that we did this city based shit, it was way too early. I think it should have continued to be the way that it was in the MLG days, where there was uh, the, we gave the fans an opportunity to pick and choose where they were going to really? go. Really? Yeah, dude, MLG. Columbus, MLG, Anaheim, MLG. But like the fans chose them. What or you're mean? saying like you gave like no, like... no, no, no. They 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 chose which one they were gonna travel to. Oh, so, oh, oh. So okay. if I'm from yeah, if I'm from uh, if I'm from Illinois, and there's an event in, in in Ohio, that's easier for me to drive to. So I'm gonna go to that one instead of traveling and buying a ticket to go all the way to California. But they mm -hmm. still got a chance to go and cheer for their team and enjoy a great weekend with like-minded people that were there to have fun doing the same thing. Choose that event. Yeah. So that's that's what I mean. I mean, I think yeah. I think the 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 cage that we put ourselves in by by uh, not allowing but 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 participating in this in this thing that isn't necessarily working because if it was then other people would be you know doing better, right? Um yeah, it was it was a mistake from the beginning. The, the amount of money, the amount of money that we had to put up in order to participate in this thing was so much pressure on the organizations that it made it almost impossible for them to continue to operate in a long-term way where they knew it's like it's like hey, we got to grow this brand first. And once we grow this brand, we're going to be able to get, you know, some some money and revenue from our fans that will allow us to to keep the lights on, to continue to pay the players and that. But then to pay the players and also have to pay the fucking league on top of that, like that was just so much pressure on on some orgs that they were just like, like man, this is just, this, this how much do you think the the buy-in should have been? I don't think there should have been a buy-in. I think that everything should have stayed the same way that it was, because Activision didn't really benefit from many doing, facts. They didn't benefit from doing this thing. You know what I mean? Call, really, yeah. Call of Duty was going to be Call of Duty no matter what. They were going to be making their billion dollars a year no matter what. For them to add the city-based stuff, like that was just uh, it was a little yeah. bit too early. If Everyone's they, 25 mil could have been used for something like insane, dude. Well, it, it's paid in installments. It's not yeah, all yeah, upfront. Yeah. But yeah. imagine if you if 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 you're starting a brand from from scratch, remove the Huntsman because that was the optic soul, right? Like remove remove uh remove that, um, because the the fan base stuck with the with 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 the players, right? The fan base stuck with there, so it didn't matter where it was at. Home is where you your heart is, okay? Um. But imagine if you're starting a brand new fucking franchise and you have to spend money in building that your market. So you got to spend money on, on throwing shows. You got to spend money. You know what I'm saying? Dude, they, but, yeah. <laughs> but then on top of that, to also have it in there that it's like, look, we got to build a fan base to make money so that we can pay the players. Okay? Think about that. That's what the, the York's not going to make money, right? Not right away. I do respect, like, org is 
that are that actually like bought in and are continuing like like rocker like you said yeah. like i feel like there's i'm not gonna say any names but there's obviously like teams that didn't live up to like what you know what they should have done mm-hmm. and uh i definitely respect words that you know i mean they, they, they're all trying so, yeah. they're all trying in their way in their own way they are trying and what they're trying to do is they're trying to build a business while at the same time building a brand that's near impossible we for 10 years were working our asses off uploading and playing uploading and playing and doing all this other shit so that we can you know build a relationship with everybody that watches us so that we can then build build a business off of that hmm. these brands are building a brand while building a business while being taxed to pay something else it's crazy Pretty facts have you talked about this yeah, since the beginning and before it happened. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just, just the, the same way that, that you guys feel like you guys don't get listened to, I feel the same way. But I also understand that there are, that 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 understanding how Activision works is the same yeah. as a business, is the same way as me trying to figure out how a spaceship operates. You know what I mean? Like that company is so big that the intricacies and the reasons why Think about this. If we have a reason as to why we only let players wear white jerseys just because it's a cultural thing, like they have their own cultural things to help them get to where they're at. So they have to follow those rules and say, fuck everything else. But the second that they extended their hand and they said, if you give me this much, I am going to give you one of 12 fucking spots and we're going to be in a partnership. The second that they did that, they opened the doors for people like me to have an opinion of how things should be on their end. Wait, question, were you guys promised something getting into the league besides the spot? Like what? Like literally anything like... uh... I can't talk about that. I'll tell you off camera. Um, But... Yeah, I think I think uh, the mistake was was doing that. If, if everything was going so well for us, I mean, it was so it was going so well for us. The people, Bro, it was, dude, because I, I started watching Black Ops Four and what Black, it was Black Ops Four to yeah, and then it was literally my game, mm-hmm. like the, the my rookie year, which is MW two thousand nineteen. Bro, Black Ops Four was fucking popping, bro. Set that a hundred thousand viewers in the in the beginning of the game, streaming to fucking two Ks, four Ks. The game, like it was, it was eh, like I actually it was pretty lit to watch just because like the kinetic and like all this fucking crazy abilities. Mm-hmm. But like, bro, the CWO was fucking insane. Like I said, th- that content I was talking about, yeah, they had that shit, yeah, and I felt like people enjoyed it. I mean, mm-hmm. at least I I enjoyed that shit. I was like, damn, like these. I'm able to see like the day in the life as a player behind the scenes like, before they go to the match and like all this other stuff. And I was like, damn, this, this, I want I want to fucking be this guy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's 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 people out there, owners and even people from the league that will say that I don't help the league by saying the shit that I say about how I don't like it. They say that by me speaking my 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 thoughts on it makes other people, the audience, feel the same way about it. And if I spoke positively about the thing, that everybody else would think positively positively on it, and it would whatever. But how can somebody speak positively? about a thing that that's not going in the right direction that's not not only not going in the right direction but you're saying hey we should be going this way you guys want to go this way right it just doesn't make sense they 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 rushed call of duty in the future will be able to sustain franchises will be able to sustain themselves in a franchise model but not right now the same way that players in the future won't have to create content to help elevate their brand and that in the future. Right now, it's a building phase. It will be a building phase for 20 years. Think about how old the NFL is, right? Like the NFL is, 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 is so old and it's been around for so long that now there's so much money to go around. But they built it first and it wasn't like this at first. Yeah, it's, I saw, I saw um, in, uh, M- M- J. Adam, like his tweet about like, yeah. how like, you know, I'm sure you saw the tweet. He was basically saying like, it was either the NBA or the NFL it didn't. It wasn't done overnight. Like yeah. it was, you know, they they were playing in gyms and mm-hmm. all this other stuff, and eventually, like, it became popular. But I, I, dude, Call of Duty, dude, I feel like Call of Duty, like, the just the way the community is, the players, like, every all these new players that are coming in, it's such, like, bro, I'm telling you right now, this is going going to be the biggest esport. We just need the right minds to lead us there. That's all it is. I'm telling you right now, like, it, dude, Call of Duty is such a good like. Game and not maybe not game, but like, dude, just the way that we're able to make the game enter entertaining and like the personalities, just the way it but is. Think you know about what, what it took to get to just even get to where we're at right now. Okay, it took Call of Duty two, right? It took Zerg Grizz, 
uh, and whoever it took Zergris specifically that started making those montages, those sniper montages, <laughs> to become popular. Because by the time that Call of Duty Four came around, more people were doing what he was doing, us included. Yeah, that was yeah. Then that, that when the then then when we had our turn to go, the sniper teams, like that's where it all started to pop off, right? Because we let me let me let me give my fucking uh, thing straight. At the, at the end of Modern Warfare Two, I think it was this, uh, at the end of Modern Warfare Two is the first time that we went back to competition in Call of Duty. But by then, we had an entire an entire season of of um, of Call of Duty Four, an entire season of World at War, and then you know, so two years of of building content, building an audience, building content, building content, building content. From there, then we are like, all right, we have a big, we have three hundred thousand subscribers, right? Let's let's get a, a Call of Duty team. Then here comes Nate Shot, and here comes that. Nate Shot pairs up with with uh, with with Optic, and then his fucking story begins, right? Or or explodes off of off of his efforts. Then it, it grew the audience. Boom, yep. right? So you're what do you? So you're saying like we need to? What can we do to get it to where like? Be patient. That's it. Let's not complicate things by adding shit that we don't need. This regional stuff. I get it. <laughs> I, I'm I'm okay with I'm, I'm okay with continuing to do this thing, yeah. but we have to refocus in, in the, the 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 way that our efforts are. Are sort of spread, you know. Um, we just need to focus on the bigger picture. Yeah, essentially. Period. Because like, uh, we will get there. It's just a matter of patience, and people just want everything now. No, yeah. That is like even the league. They just thought that by like there, there, there was a time. There was a time where they the, the league didn't give a fuck whether or not Optic was involved in the league. Imagine. You fucking like they thought they actually thought that the league could survive without the optic brand in it. It was it was it was crazy. Originally, Hastro and I had to convince everybody that we shouldn't do events in which only four teams played. Like imagine an entire event, right? A home a home stand on a weekly basis. The traveling, bro. The the original fucking. Thought behind it was so NBA because they hired NBA people, they hired baseball people, they hired people who have done it before. So they just assumed that. But but that that model works and that model can work in Call of Duty. But we have to have that many years under our belts the same way that they. Why don't they trust the 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 people that have been there? You know what I'm saying? Why don't Why don't they trust like you, the 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 Hex, the the Strohs? The there's probably more like more names. I I, I just don't really know. But you know what I'm saying? Like why don't they trust? their ideas and if like it's gonna work bro there's no like oh like what if, what if it bro it's literally gonna fucking work like you guys have been there it's like you guys are literally the the fucking vets like you're not they're the rooks respectfully obviously like you guys really haven't been there like through the entire call of duty history you you guys you stro like y'all been there Y'all's ideas would succeed, and it's not even a question if it like since two thousand and five. I have all the games up there: Call of Duty two, all the way to to. I I, I I am an expert, not only in what Call of Duty is, but how Call of Duty can become an entertainment property that is, boom. So what I'm saying, and why, like, bro. Uh, it's the thing is, is like it's okay. It's all about patience. It's all about taking your time. Oh, no, it's all 100%. about doing things the, 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 the right way. Um. Do they, I, do they listen to your advice or no? No. Um, and and, oh. and, and I, I believe wholeheartedly that, that the franchise model can work. Uh -huh. I believe that it can work. It's just too early in its lifespan. The gaming space? Yeah. Or like the CDS? Yeah. yeah. I, I always say that, you know, people from Call of Duty may get mad at me for, for you know, doing, doing some. And, and, and some have just come in in the last couple. I've been here since 2005. Call of Duty, as much as is, is, is an Activision game, like that's my fucking, I've been, I love Call of Duty, man, that's my shit. So why, why would, why wouldn't I want it to succeed, right? Like why wouldn't I want it to succeed, to continue to succeed? I, I wanna be an old dude watching, an older dude watching, you know, people can, can continue to play. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know, it is, it is it's, it's, it's a work in progress. We just, we're just not there yet. Interesting. Damn, that's crazy. I did not. Damn. Anyway, good talk. Any any closing comments? Anything you want to plug? Uh definitely peep the the YouTube. I definitely post a lot of vir 
variety variety of content there. Uh, I stream almost every single day on Twitch. Um, yeah, just keep supporting Optic. You know, we appreciate it as always. Thanks for the the kind comments. Obviously, when we lose, you know, it's unfortunate, but your guys' comments gets us through. You know, the the months, the weeks, the days, all that good stuff. So uh, we do it for you guys, and yeah, hope you guys just you know keep uh, keep supporting. I want to give you props before we go because how you talk now to the camera, how how fluid it is for you, how how normal <laughs> oh, it is it's for way you. Easier. Yeah, before, like remember your your interview in uh, uh, London. in London. Oh. Like people were roasting you, and I was like, "Yo, like this dude, let, let this dude oh, learn so how to bad. talk." What? But it's not it's not it's not something that you just become magic. If you go uh, look at my num at my first episode of Top Five Kill Camps of the Week, it doesn't even sound like me. I had to I had to find a way for me to be me in front of the camera. Yeah. So congrats to you because you, you've been able to do that and all that. Shout out you guys too as well because like you guys are the main reason like being on camera, you know, you're doing your, you know, when you do your vlogs, like I eventually got used to it. At first it wasn't like as easy, but you just get used to it. Like it's just at the, at the end of the day, it's just a camera. You know what I'm saying? That's it. The camera, they eventually watch it on YouTube. 100,000 people behind it though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, thank you for, for stopping by. I'll check in with you in a year uh, or I'll check in with you in front of the camera in, a, in another year and we'll see where Call of Duty's at and uh, we'll touch base. It'll be, you... it'll be booming. Uh, hopefully. It'll yeah, be yeah. booming. So if you guys have any uh, questions for him directly, go hit him up on his Twitter. Uh, go check out his YouTube channel as he just mentioned. Everything under Shotzi. Um, and, you know, I, I recommend that you do because you're, you're, you're witnessing a, a, a point in time in a person's career in which you see a trajectory that's almost like a, a foregone conclusion. So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please do leave a like if you guys enjoyed it. Share it with a friend if you're not selfish. Uh, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Later.